Hello friends, it's Nomad Brad coming to you from my box truck. Let me tell you what we're doing in today's video. A lot of folks have been asking about how my air conditioning works, what I do to stay cool, and today is the perfect day to test it out. It's 95 degrees in Yuma, Arizona, so I'm gonna show you guys how I run my air conditioner 24-7, with the solar panels on my roof and my large battery bank. Additionally, we're gonna do a little cooking and I wanna show you guys how I use my Instant Pot to cook a really delicious roast. It's super simple to make, only takes an hour to cook and you can eat on it for a couple days. So here's a quick look at what's going on. You can see the current temperature inside the van is 81, outside it is 99 degrees. Uh, this is the indoor portion of my air conditioner. The inside of my mini split, the brand is Climb Air, and you can see I have it set to 78 degrees. So that's the set point we're looking for. Now I get a lot of comments from folks asking, how do you run an air conditioner 24 seven? They're so power hungry. And my reply to that is that I have a high efficiency air conditioner. This is a ductless mini split air conditioner. It's 12,000 BTUs. This thing can drop all the way down to only 200 watts of power consumption. So the idea is when it's hot and it has to cool down the area fast, it kicks on full blast, 700 watts. And then once the temperature drops, it slowly drops its power consumption from 800 gradually down to 200 watts. So here's the outdoor unit, Climb Air. You can see it has the smart DC inverter. That's the technology that allows this compressor to be super efficient and vary its output. Here's a look at the side. You can see my refrigerant lines. They go right up and inside the unit. And then up on the roof, of course, I have 1200 watts of solar. That's four 320 watt panels. Now, if we go over here to my electrical cabinet, here is my inverter charger. This is taking the energy from the sun, from the solar panels in. It is converting the uh, low voltage solar panel energy into 120 volts and it is powering my mini split and then whatever energy is left over from powering the mini split it is putting that battery it is putting that power directly into my batteries and charging up my battery bank so i have 400 amp hours of 12 volt lithium that's two 200 amp hour 12.8 volt batteries now let's go ahead and jump into the numbers. I'm gonna throw up a screenshot from my Victron Smart Shunt battery monitor. I kicked this on right before I turned on the air conditioner. So you can see from this, my battery was 100% charged, sitting at 26.9 volts, and the current coming out of my batteries was only two amps or 54 watts, which is basically nothing that might've been my fridge running or maybe my lights being on, but very, very small power draw. Now we'll flip over to the next screenshot, which I took as soon as I turned on my air conditioner. And now you can see if you look down at power, I'm pulling 807 watts. My current is 30 amps. So that's with the air conditioner getting turned on with it being 80 degrees in the van and 99 degrees outside. Now I want you to look at the timestamp on this video. If you look up at the corner, it is 2.30 in the afternoon when it just kicked in at 807 watts. And now we're gonna fast forward to three o'clock p.m. You can see my batteries are still fully charged and that's because the solar panels are powering the air conditioner directly. The solar power energy is coming in, hitting the power inverter, going directly to the air conditioner. So my battery bank isn't even being touched at this point. It's just sitting at full capacity, waiting for the sun to go down. And after about half an hour of running, we'll look at the temperature inside the box truck and we can see we achieved that 78 degree temperature that we were looking for. And if we look at the power consumption now on the Victron Smart Shunt, we see 192 watts. So this is with the air conditioner having achieved its full desired temperature set point. And now we're just humming along at a nice 192 watts. All right, my friends. So the next thing we're gonna do is get this roast going. We're gonna just keep the air conditioner running, keep it cool and comfortable in here. And keep in mind, what else is pretty cool is I'm doing all this off free energy from the sun. This is the roast. I picked it up from Fry's, which is kind of our local grocery store. It is a choice boneless chuck roast, 
two pounds, cost me $7.50 a pound. First, I'll fill the Instant Pot a quarter way with water. Then I'm gonna go ahead and chop up this garlic into pretty small pieces. Now we'll move on to the sweet red onion. I'm gonna chop this one pretty good into fine pieces as well. Then we'll scrape the onion and garlic into the Instant Pot. We'll add some salt and pepper and additionally some seasoning mix. Then I'll drop the meat in, add a little more spices and salt and pepper on top. We'll put it into the Instant Pot and cook it for 60 minutes. All right, Nomad Brad caved in. I had to open the window and turn on the exhaust vent. The onions are just like burning my eyes. It's so strong in here. I uh, cracked this window open here, and then I got the exhaust vent on high. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my onion scraps, and, uh, and we'll let the thing do its cooking. And here's the roast. Check that out. Looking tender, looking tasty. You can see the onions and the garlic floating around in there. It looks absolutely delicious. So now we're just gonna add the uh, sweet potatoes, cook it for another 10 minutes. All right, friends, here it is. Final cook phase complete. But look at this roast. Look how just it just pulls apart. I mean, absolutely incredible looking piece of meat. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out. We got the onion in there, we got the garlic in there, look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out, try out the roast, see how we did. We can tell it's juicy. Give you guys a little up close. You can see it's still steaming, it's hot, but it looks very tender. We got a little, we're gonna get a little sweet potato on there load it up and uh, give it a go. Mmm, so good. Really good, really tender, juicy. The seasonings I used, you can taste the seasonings are like infused down into the meat so it has a nice, uh, nice flavor to it. Delicious, sweet potato, mmm, so good. So that's it guys, we got most of the video complete. We made it, we tested the air conditioner. This thing's rocking. We're sitting at 100% battery still as the sun goes down. All right, friends, so here we are. It is that time of the evening, the sun has gone down. I'm currently here at wet, West Wetlands Park, Yuma, Arizona, and uh, it was a great spot to spend the day, but now it's time to find somewhere to sleep. And so I'm gonna be leaving the park here and heading back into town. And so I was kind of just looking over places to stay the night. And uh, you know, there's definitely some commercial type areas uh, down here, kind of down, down on Main Street. But you know what? I kind of have to use the restroom right now. And so I was thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna go stay the night in the Home Depot parking lot because I know there's a Home Depot pretty close to here. And I've actually, I've never, I rarely stay in shopping center parking spaces, but there's a big Home Depot here. They got a nice bathroom, nice big empty parking lot. So we're gonna head down to Home Depot for tonight and try our luck at stealth camping. And there's the path. Looks like about a seven minute drive through town to good old Home Depot. Let's go. My friends, here we go. Leaving West Wetlands Park, heading to the Home Depot. It is 2.7 miles away. We're gonna roll up in there like we own the place. Do a little stealth camping. and check it out. I can already see there's a school, a little short bus parked up. Definitely not stealth camping. Very obvious he's staying in that. So if the little school bus can do it, then uh, the solar service truck can do it. Pull right into the giant Home Depot. 
here we go. Yeah, there's a little short bus right here. They ain't even trying to hide it. They're just hanging out in their rig. Look at that. Little short bus, what up? Looks pretty good, pretty good. See where we want to park for the evening. I'm gonna go down to the end of the parking lot here. Right next to the furniture row outlet. Heck yeah. Pull up right in here. And this looks pretty good to me. We did it friends. Quite a day we had today. We got to check out the air conditioning made a delicious roast in the Instant Pot. I got all the curtains closed, so it's totally light proof on the outside. And uh, so I'm gonna take a look at the Victron uh, mobile app really quick and see how we're doing. And I'm gonna throw up a screenshot for you guys so you can check it out as I go through it here with you. So it's 8.05 p.m. and we can see uh, my battery state of charge is 85%, uh, 26.4 volts and currently 162 watts of power being consumed. So the air conditioner is running on low. We can go up and check it right here and I can feel it cooling just a little bit. And uh, if we look at the temperature gauge up here, we can see it's 82 degrees outside and a comfortable 76 inside the van. So far so good. So we're gonna keep it running all night 76 degrees and we will get up in the morning and see what the batteries look like I'm gonna get up early so I can check out the battery monitor uh, before the Sun comes up and uh, We'll see how much energy the air conditioner consumed overnight while I'm sleeping Good morning friends 6 30 a.m. I got up early just for you Just for you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek of the stealth camping in the Home Depot We'll see how we did. Raise the blackout curtains. Here we are waking up in the Home Depot parking lot, 6.30 a.m. There's already a hustle and a bustle happening. People are moving around. The sun is just coming up, but it's not high enough yet to hit the panels. It's just coming up over the mountains down there. So let's check the, uh, check the old Victron app see how we did also we'll, let's do a temperature check really quick see what we're working with 72 degrees inside 64 outside so you can see it cooled down cooled down pretty well last night so the ac even though it was on it wasn't really cranking and so here we can see 641 a.m. and let's just do a comparison real quick here was last night 1134 p.m. right before I went to bed we were at 78 percent 26.39 volts and this morning we're waking up at 632 a.m. and our battery percentage is 69 percent so basically we used you know 25 around 25%, a little more than 25%, maybe 30% of my battery power. That's pretty good. That's real good. So obviously here in Arizona, it's not super humid and hot overnight, which is nice. And so that's why you can do an air conditioner like this on a fairly small battery bank. I mean, 400 amp hours at 12 volts, that's not a big battery bank, but we were able to stay cool all night and wake up with a 69% charge. So we got plenty of juice. I mean, the minute the sun comes up and hits my panels, it's gonna start cooking right away and we'll be up to full charge in no time. And I just wanna contrast that a little bit. When I was in Texas last summer, uh, because it was humid, the air conditioner, ran, like when it ran all night, it ran all night. I mean, it wasn't running full blast, but it was, you know, running at a decent clip just because of the humidity. So I didn't have a battery meter on my van when I was in Texas. So I don't know what the battery percentage looks like, but I can say 
it ran all night, every night, and when I woke up in the morning, I still had juice. So, you can do it, guys. This is it. This is the way to do air conditioning on your van. Fill your roof with solar. Well, first, you gotta get a rig big enough to hold like at least 1200 watts, and then fill the roof with solar, 400 amp hours of battery, get that mini split, that ductless mini split air conditioner, and you're gonna be ready to rock. You can run your AC no matter the weather, no matter the place, as long as you have sun, as long as you have good daily sun exposure, you can run the AC as much as you want. Keep it cool, keep it comfortable. Nomad Brad likes to be comfortable, so, that's it. That's the that's the video for today. I'm going to do some work. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys now understand how you can run air conditioning in your van. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I will answer for you guys. And uh that's it. Nomad Brad signing out from Home Depot in Yuma, Arizona. Peace.